Hey guys, Vesifix here, and we're back with another Rainbow Runner tutorial. And this is part two of the series. And we're going to look at the transfer between the timings and then the actual like pistons and Rainbow Runner and the warning system. That's going to be another episode. Um, first you want to do is make, um, as you see that you just saw being made, um, a redstone torch uh, vertical thing. And then you want pistons along where the signals come out so it's kind of a drawbridge where it's either up or it's down it's either on or it's off so you want to make sure all of those work like that and then you want to put your redstone pieces in front to continue the signal on and then you want to do the same thing on the other side for the warning system and if you did not do this last episode then you want to invert the first the third and then the fifth um signals so then you want to make the uh, vertical redstone torches and then you want to bring it out and put the pistons over where the signals are coming out this will allow us to manually and or automatically adjust whether we want warnings or not or if we're trying to like trying to see which side is like broken or something we can turn one off and test the one side it's just it's good all around and it doesn't take a lot of space so that's that it's down it's up it's down okay good so next thing we're going to do is get the transfer from the from the timing system to the actual pistons and the actual rainbow runner so first you want to go out 12 blocks um and put 12 iron or 12, 12 solid blocks, any block that you can put a redstone torch on. Uh, make sure there's a little space in between where you start this line and where the the uh, pistons are, um, the, pi the drop down pistons. I'm gonna speed this up, but you just kind of make uh, an inverted pyramid with redstone torches on all of them. And then you wanna make um, the timings, which is gonna be on the side, one tick, one after each other, so. This is the second line, so it's going to be one tick before this one, this one, this one, and this one. And then you can just keep on doing that till it's going to be a 12 tick system. It's a 12 blocks long, so you're going to have 12 different ticks. So it's going to go one tick, then two ticks, three for each different line. Um, there's no need for me to like have this video long and drawn out because this is a 15 minute video if I didn't speed it up for you guys. So I'm going to speed it up for you, play some music, and then I'll come back later.
Okay, so we're just finishing up the last, uh, last level of the redstone. Um, you want to still make sure each one is one tick after each other, and whichever one has the longer tick is the side that you're going to be on. So, if you want to invert this and have everything on the other side, that's fine. I mean, it's all the same. You just got to rewire it differently. Just get your wires up there, and that should be that. Um, if you see the pistons right now, they're kind of inverted as in um, some are up, some are down, so we're going to have to change that. To do that, we're going to have to invert the first, third, and fifth um, uh, lines, or whatever. <laughs> so you see that some are up, and then the middle two are down. So we're going to have to change that. So this is the middle one. So we're just going to put a redstone torch to invert it. Uh, let's find the best place. This is good. And then put that down there. That's the middle line. And then you're going to do the outer two. You can make this however you want. Just You don't have to wire it the same exact as me. It's kind of just free, free wiring. So that's that. And the next one, the next tutorial of this will be out in maybe four days. I'm going to be gone for a little while, so I won't be uploading. And there we go. So, uh, that's that. Let's see if it works. And yes, it does. So, the next step is we're going to put blocks on top of this. Uh, of course, uh, wool blocks to make the rainbow. And then we're going to put blocks in the back for the warning system. And then we're going to connect it up. So, thanks for watching, guys. And